Now the first step is to verify the game files. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename or delete the config file. Now when you rename or delete the config file, all saved settings will be lost. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. And over here, you will see this config folder. So create a backup first. So you can copy this folder. You can paste it to the desktop. And then over here, now once you have a backup, now you can make a right click and then you can rename it. Once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. Now you might see local config or maybe config. So whichever you see, just rename it, create a backup and then check. Next step is to delete the shader file. Now for this in the same location here you can see shader cache file. So if you see this file, uh, just delete it. Once you delete it, when you launch the game next time, it will compile the shaders once again and then you can check. This has also worked for many players so it might work for you. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files and then make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. Still not working, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to properties once again, this time select over here, select Windows, put a check over here, select Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, this time you can select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, Click on OK, launch the game, still not working, disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to Windows security. Now for this open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security, Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add and allow app browser apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in this location. Open the game folder and then select the game exe file. Click on open. Now type in control panel. Go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings, allow another app. Click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to now if you are using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now you can skip this step if you are if you're not able to launch the game. But if you are able to launch the game, turn off vSync, try same resolution in Windows settings and in game, lower down graphic settings. Now for this, launch the game. Now once you launch the game, uh, you can go to press the escape key and then go to options and then over here go to graphics over here and then quality. First of all, you can go to quality graphics option. Now over here, uh, first of all, go to basic graphics settings. Now once you go to basic graphics settings, on the right hand side you will see vSync. Now if this is on, you can turn this off and then apply the settings. If it is already off, you can turn it on and then check. Also, you can switch to window mode. If this is set to full screen, uh, borderless, like borderless window mode, you can try window mode over here. And then you can go to resolution option. Now, if this is set to 4K, uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And then go to 
detail graphic settings. Now over here, if everything is set to ultra high, you can set it to normal or maybe high. And then you can check the performance. Now the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to the website. And then select your graphic card from here. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating, operating system, and then click on fine. Now on this page, at the very top, you will find the latest graphic card driver, GeForce Game Read driver. Whichever is the latest, click on view, and then click on download. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue, then select custom option, then click on next. Then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to, now for AMD card users, uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart your computer, go to AMD website, select your graphic card, install the latest graphic card driver, restart your computer, and then launch the game. Now, if that does not work, you can roll back graphics card driver. I'm again showing for NVIDIA card. So, when you go to the AMD, uh, NVIDIA website, uh, on this page, when once you select your graphic card and everything, when you are on this page, click on view more version. So maybe you can try the old graphic card driver. You can try 576.40. And for many users, this has worked. That is 566.36 GeForce Game Read driver. So for many users, this has worked. So you can just download this. And once the download is complete, run the exe file. But when you go for installation, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart it. You must restart your computer and then you can launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box, go to graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file. Click on add. Once the game is added, find the game in the list click on the game and then select high performance over here and then you can launch the game. Desktop users make sure that you connect the display cable or SDMI cable to your dedicated graphic card not the Intel the motherboard slot. Now the next step is to disable onboard graphics now make a right click on the game select properties and make a right click go to device manager over here. and then expand display adapter over here you can see your if your computer has a dual graphic card, one is inbuilt graphic card, the Intel one, then you can make a right click and then you can click on disable device. And once this is disabled, now you can launch the game and then check. Once you're done playing the game, you can enable your integrated graphic card. Now the next step is to uncheck IPv6. Now this has also worked uh, for many players, so it might work for you. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, go to network and internet network and sharing center click it click on your network and then go to properties over here and then over here scroll down here you can see internet protocol tcp ipv6 if this is checked you can uncheck it and then click on ok and then you can launch the game now once you are done playing the game uh, once you are done playing the game you can go to properties once again and then you can put a check on this one and then you can click on OK and then check. Now, now the next step is to turn on VPN. Now for many users using VPN has worked. So if you don't have a VPN, you can get the free VPN and then you can install it on your computer and then you can check. If the VPN, if you're already using VPN, you can turn off VPN. So try both, turn on the VPN and then check. If that does not work, you can turn off the VPN and then check. Next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open this as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy all these commands one by one and paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now run the second command. 
I'm sorry. Uh, copy the complete command. Paste it. Hit the enter key. Now once this is done, copy the second command. Paste it. Hit the enter key. Now run the last command. Paste it. Hit the enter key. Once this is done, now relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option. Type in dash DX11. And then you can launch the game and then check. Let me close the game. Uh, if this does not work, uh, this time you can make a right click, go to properties. You can type in dash DX12. Now you can launch the game and then check. So it's working. Let me close the game. Still not working. Uh, then you can go to properties, remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So the devices which you're not using. So if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect extra controller. Uh, if you have virtual controller, you can disable it, uninstall it, disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a record in the game, select properties and turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. Next step is to also close all the overlay application. Like if you have any other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings, turn off NVIDIA overlay and close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Tuner, any kind of uh, overclocking application running, close it. If you have any, any third party services or application running, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. So go to Windows settings, go to Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, download this x86 and x64. Download both the files. And run this exe file. If you see repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. And run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once this is done, now restart your computer. Restart is a must. After the system restart, launch the game. Still not working, the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. Now, if nothing is working, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So make a right click manage uninstall now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel